Hey guys, this is Howard Uber Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you how to disassemble and reassemble your Glock 17 Gen 4. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get on with the video. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we're safe. And how we do that is by pushing this button right here. That's your mag release. The magazine drops out. Set that aside. We're still not safe yet. So we have to make sure that there's nothing in the chamber. And how we do that is by holding the gun like this, grabbing the slide from here or here, and pulling the slide this way while pushing forward on this hand. And it's gonna look something like this. So you can see that there's no ammo in the chamber. We are now safe. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna aim the gun at a safe direction, and we're gonna pull the trigger. Next, we're going to place this portion of the pistol into this part of your hand. It's going to look like that. Next, we're going to take these three fingers and we're going to wrap them over the slide just like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull the slide back just like that. You're going to take this tab and that tab and we're going to pull both of them down at the same time. Release the pressure with your fingers and push forward. The slide comes off. You can put this part down. Next, you're gonna remove the recoil spring, which is this right here. You're gonna grab the recoil spring from here and you're gonna pull up. So grab here, pull up, and then out. Set that aside. Next, we're gonna remove the barrel. We're gonna grab the barrel from here. We're gonna slightly push forward while pulling up. So it's gonna look something like this. Grab the barrel from here. See how it goes forward a little bit. The barrel sticks out the front and then pull up and out on an angle, just like that. That's it. Now let's put everything back together. Grab your slide and your barrel. This part of the barrel is going to go into this hole right here, but from the inside like this. The barrel is going to go in on an angle, just like this. See the front of the barrel comes through that hole. And then you're going to drop the barrel down. And then you're going to push the barrel in. And you can see the barrel block drops into place. Next, you're going to grab your recoil spring. You're going to take this part of the recoil spring. You're going to place it into this area right here. This side of the recoil spring is going to be placed right into this area right here where this half circle is. It's going to look something like this. So we'll put this part right in here, just like that. This part, you're going to compress and push down at the same time. So push in and then push down. You're going to notice that the circle is in that half circle area that I pointed out before. And now you're good. Now let's install the slide to the grip. How we do that is by taking this area right here and this area right here, and we're gonna slide that onto these two rails right here and here. And it's gonna look something like this. Once you get to this part right here, all you have to do is grab the slide from here, pull it back slightly, and then there you go. The slide is installed back onto the grip. What I like to do from here is do a function test. And how I do that is grab the pistol like this, grab the rear of the slide where the serrations are, and pull to the rear while pushing forward. And you do that three times. One, two, three. Point the gun into a safe direction and pull the trigger. Everything sounds like it's operating correctly, so we're good to go. Last, take your magazine, insert it into the pistol, and you have successfully field stripped your Glock 17 Gen 4. Just wanted to say thanks to my buddy Jay for letting me borrow his Glock 17 so I could film this disassembly. Guys, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.